So we push through the center as we do, got nothing fresh. And if the opponents are going to play in this way, then we can continue doing these types of maneuvers, you know, so they may look the same, but it's only based on what the opponent's doing. So we're going to capture here and we're going to develop the bishop supporting the pawn, ready for castling, all simple basic stuff. I think if I'm using the principles of chess, sometimes I don't really get myself into too much trouble. I'm going to castle. Now my king hasn't got any company at the moment, so I'm probably thinking now maybe we're going to start getting some company for it. So we'll bring the queen over. We'll be chomping at the bit to get this pawn down over to here, so the bishop's attacking our queen. That's all basic stuff, but uh, at the end of the day, if you don't know it, then well, <laughs> exact move as well. So we can still take the pawn, knowing full well that the bishop is going to be coming to attack here. So we can then swing our queen across here. So we will take the pawn. And we can preempt and just move the queen out of the way. We may as well. I call that the Magnus Carlsen, doing the preemptive moves. Um, I do like the way that um, he, he sees he sees the moves that the opponent is going to make and he doesn't leave it there to be attacked, he actually does move it. So he wins a kind of initiative in the movement. Not initiative in the attack, but initiative in the movement of not losing tempo because the opponent's attacking a key piece of theirs. That makes sense to me. Okay, so bishop's now attacking, so he's looking to win some tempo attacking our queen. What I want to do is just maybe open him up a little bit. So I'm going to bring the queen here. Ordinarily then you'd expect the pawn to drop here. But he may not do that, he may do something totally different. Queen's got nice safe diagonal here, it's just that it is blocking our bishop, so that's a little bit annoying in its own right. But we can just bring it back. We don't want to bring it here because it's going to get challenged again. Bring the rook there, probably in readiness to stop the queen from coming here once he's done the pawn move. So we could develop our bishop and just attack to gain some type of initiative. Again, you can still just drop here. Probably expect that one more so. Obviously we can come here but then they'll continue the attack with the knight attacking the queen and the pawn at the same time. So I have to be mindful of that so do we go there anyway or do we do something else? Even if we went here but then if the knight does move we can take the queen off the board. So maybe we're going here. After all of this, bum bum bum. Something to think about. Oh yeah, going straight for it. Okay, we'll continue the movement. It's got this pawn move here, which is going to be, it's going to feel quite devastating to, uh, against us. But I believe it's going to give us a better position on the board and give the opponent something to think about. So there's no real need for them to actually go slow at this point because it's quite obvious that they're coming with the pawn move here. So two pawns for the bishop, can't be wrong, with a check on the king. 
not going for that interesting time so it's coming down here for our pawn which is loose um could risk it for a biscuit and take the pawn here two pawns for the queen and do, 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 do. what else do we have after that he makes some inroads with his bishop no maybe with the knight take 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 queens here looking for some checks it's moving away maybe we don't go for that i think that's like a a draw attempt into so we could go here but then like we said it could go here he's attacking the queen as well i'm taking the bishop off the board saving the confusion i think we got saved there but um they're obviously looking at this pawn here bishop's got a nice diagonal here we can't squeeze in let's just push this pawn while we're thinking Last one to get into the game if we can. I don't think we're going to get time. But if they do do this this time, obviously, taking the pawn here. So I don't think they'll do that. I think they're looking to be a bit clever with the moves. Yep. So we can go here. Just blocking that off. Get the bishop here. Obviously, it's going to exchange the bishop off. Take bishop comes to attack because it obviously he wants my queen with the rook. Oh, attacks that way, whichever way, still attacking the queen. So we have options. Thing is, we can just attack the rook here, so I don't really know what it's doing there in the middle of the board. So we'll attack the rook. They may go kamikaze now and just take anyway. Bishop takes, pawn takes, rook's not really. Really, they're not going to take because the queen will just take it. It's gone for a double whammy. Interesting situation. Uh, so the bishop can take then after that, but we can take his rook anyway. So we'll just move the queen and attack his queen. So we've got a smaller piece attacking a higher piece already out of that. We're now attacking a higher piece of there, so it gives them something to think about. So takes, takes, then he's going to have to move the rook out of the way. Got a little jump here with the knight attacking their other rook. So that attempt at, yeah, so he's actually moved it. So we're going to take the queen off the board and then looking maybe to take this bishop off the board as well. And then looking to attack this rook here. So no material advantages at this moment in time. It's going to want to still either own the file or come across here and oh, sorry and own this file. Yep. One of the two, so if we push here, then his rook is coming down to put pressure onto the knight and also onto the pawn. Can't move this rook because this rook is on this pawn. Uh, if we have tempo, we would probably push, then they come down for the knight, then we bring the rook here to defend, ooh, defend the knight. This pawn's got no protection, so this rook is going to come across and attack it. Okay, so we do have another rook. Can't get into there because the knight's protecting that area. Could bring the rook here, protecting the knight. See, we're in defense mode here, which is not a good picture. Knight could come around and attack the rook. 
and then he's simply dropping here or maybe coming down and attacking the knight don't think they'll waste the tempo attacking the knight because it can go to safety so I think they'll come down and attack the pawn can push the pawn up but then he's got a 2 on 1 here with his rook so again we're playing defence so the rook would come here behind this knight is here Rook's looking to come here, or are we going to attack his pawn? Hmm. Attack the pawn and attack the rook. I think that looks more exciting, does that one? It's less defensive looking, isn't it? Yeah, I'm plumping for this one. Oh, oh what? Oh, what? Is he meant to go here? Or is his knight coming in to do something magical? I don't know. But he's getting me. He's coming around the back to get the pawn into somehow. I don't know. I'm going to take. We're on his rook. Maybe he's bringing this rook here. Yeah, to come down here. But we've got things guarded there, haven't we? Have I got my knight, knight trapped? Whoa, I better have, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I think it's getting trapped, isn't it? Pawn pushes down, where does it go? Ooh, can't even go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go. can go here, but it's getting trapped. Oh, no, too clever for me. Too clever for me. Uh, oh, this is protected. I'm going to take this pawn here. I'm not sure what's going on now. Ooh, he's got a triple situation going on. Knight takes, rook takes. Ooh, it's not protected anymore, is it? Let's push. Let's just take it off the board. Oh, and they've resigned. <laughs> they've resigned. Why have they resigned? Well, I mean, we've got the pawns pushing up here, but let's have a look at the analysis. I bet it's one of those that really wasn't resignable again. Let's go here. Ooh, oh, okay, maybe maybe it was. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, dear, plus 4.6. Yeah, we're well, happy with these pawns. We probably would have got them up there, but again, still... So it's same rook taking here, and obviously we are going to start pushing the pawns up. Uh, yeah, it's plus four point thingy, so yeah, we had the advantage. Nice player. Hmm, interesting.